Right. This is a video on basic division. And just so you know, division is just the opposite of multiplication. For example, if I take this problem here, um, this is three times four. If I was gonna use my skip counting songs, what I would do would be, I would know this is three groups of four. So my skip counting song, I know I'd have three fingers and I'd be skip counting by fours. So I know I'm gonna have three fingers. Ready, go. Four, eight, 12. So I know the answer to this is 12, but this is supposed to be division. <laughs> so this is the direction we went to do multiplication. To do division, we just go the opposite way. So I'm gonna write the 12 and then the division sign and then the four. And now to solve this one, we always ask the question, how many with division? So I ask, and I'm going this way, how many fours are in 12? So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use my skip counting song for fours, and I'm gonna to try to see how many fingers would go into 12. So I'm gonna do it, ready, go. Four, eight, 12. Oh, there's three fingers, so notice how the multiplication and division are related. They're just the opposite of each other. Three times four is 12, or if I went this way, 12 divided by four would be three, okay? So here's the first problem, and again, they go from an uh, increasing level of difficulty. This would be the easiest problem. It says, there are four sets of blocks, okay? There are 20 blocks in all. How many blocks are in each set? So it's saying there's four sets. Well, I only see one here, and that's how this could be tricky. So for some re if somehow I'm gonna have to take this and divide it into, four sets. So I'm gonna, it looks like this would be one set of four, one set, two sets, three sets. Now I have four sets. So in this problem, it was, I started with 20, And I'm going to divide it into four sets. So if I divide this into four sets, one, two, three, four, how many are going to be in each set? Well, let's use our skip counting song. I'm going to say how many fours are in 20? So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. It looks like there should be five. And let's look. It looks like we have four sets and in each set there's one, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, so that's one type of problem where you actually have a manipulative and you're trying to figure out what they're meaning. So I made four sets and I found out how many blocks are in each set. Okay, first problem. Let me go to the next one. Again, this is increasing difficulty. The next, it says, which, of the ex which two expressions below equal four? Well, I could do this in my head, but again, I'm gonna do it on paper because I like to show my work and I think you should too. So I know when I'm doing this kind of problem, I always go backwards and I'm asking how many. So I ask how many fours are in 20? So I'm gonna count by skip count by fours until I get to 20. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. It looks like they're five, right? Or I could have done it like this. There's one, two, three, four groups, how many are in each group, and I would just count. It's one for you, one for me, until 
I get to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, that equals 5, so this one does not work. Now I'm going to go to B. B, and I'm going to use purple this time. Again, we're going this way, and I'm asking the question, how many? And I say, how many threes are in 12? So I'm gonna skip count by threes until I get to 12, because I'm kind of doing the opposite thing as I would do with multiplication. So ready, go. Three, six, nine, 12. I got to 12, it looks like there's four fingers. So I would get four. But if you don't wanna do it that way, you know you have three groups. One, two, three, and I could do the one for me, one for you, until I get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And again, I get the same answer, two different methods to do the same thing. That does equal four, so I'm gonna circle that one. Now I'm gonna go to C. It says 24 divided by six. I know I'm going the opposite direction. I always ask how many. How many sixes are in 24? So I am doing my skip counting by six song. So it's six, 12, 18, 24. That looks like four. So this looks like four, but if you don't believe me, I can just make six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. I barely fit. fit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm gonna do that one for me until I, one for me, one for you, until I get to 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And again, there's one, two, three, four in each group. So this one also works. Now it says there's only two expressions. Remember from before that we know this scary word right here just means it doesn't have any equal signs. So you'll notice that A, no equal sign, no equal sign, no equal sign, no equal sign. It's just writing it without that equal sign, okay? So if I take this last expression, 36 divided by six, I go the opposite direction. I'll use this color. And I ask how many? How many sixes are in 36? I do my six song until I get to 36. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Oh, that's six fingers. So I'm gonna put equals six, but again, if you don't believe me, I'll do um, six sets. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm just gonna do one for me, one for you until I get to 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And you can see each group has six, but it says which two expressions below equal four. I must be right because I think these two are the only ones that I got for as the quotient. All right, so this one right here is um, the last one I'm gonna do. It says place the expression in the correct category based on their value. Remember expression means just without an equal sign uh, category. These are the categories. It's saying which one of these is, is it, which one of these is equal to one, which one of these is equal to two, which one of these is equal to three, and their value is just their 
quotient or their answer. Okay, so I'm going to do the green one first. So um, 14 divided by 7. Remember, I go backwards and I ask how many. How many sevens are in 14? So I use my skip counting song for seven, seven, 14, I get two fingers. Okay, so on this one, it looks like the green one is equal to two. I would put it in this category, okay? If you didn't get how to do that, remember I could have had seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just counted, did one for me, one for you, till I got to 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you can see there's two in each group, okay? All right, now I'm gonna do this one. Seven divided by seven equals, now remember we're going backwards and we're asking how many? So how many sevens are in seven? We use our skip counting sound, sevens. Seven, oh, I got only one. So that's equal to one. So I know this orange one goes into the equal to one category, okay? If you didn't understand that, it's seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I would just, do one for me, one for you until I got to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see each one has a one in it, okay? Now I'm gonna do the pink one, 24 divided by eight. I always, when I see division, I go backwards and I ask, how many? So how many eights are in 24? So now I'm doing my skip counting by eights, and I stop when I get to 24. Eight, 16, 24. So that's 24. I'm hoping this is, you can see all that. So this one is three, so this is equal to three. If you don't believe me, I know I have eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just going to do one for me, one for you until I get to 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And you'll notice there's three in each group. So for this pink one, it's three. So this one would go into the equal to three category. Last one, and I'm just gonna divide this up because I'm running out of room. I'm gonna do the purple one here. So nine divided by three. I know I'm going backwards and asking how many? So how many threes are nine? So skip counting by threes, I count until I get to nine. Three, six, nine, oh, three fingers. So that's equal to three. If I didn't believe it, I could just do three groups and then do my one for me, one for you, again, until I get to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I, again, that equals three. So the purple expression also goes into the equal to three category. I hope that helps, thanks, bye.